back to a brand new video here on the channel and today I will be reviewing today I will be reviewing Halloween 2 now Halloween 2 this may get kind of controversial um, you know I will say that right now this may get kind of controversial because when it comes to Halloween 2 I th now, I'm going to kind of keep this video short because I've talked about this movie a lot here on the channel. Spent my piece on it. Even though I like Halloween 2, I think it's a classic. It deserves to be a classic. Not a, I'm not a big fan of Halloween 2. I will talk more about it in my ranking because when I do my ranking, I'm, go I'm going to go more in depth in all of these. Um, just these reviews are going to make them more short to the point considering I review these movies thousands of times here on the channel um, some of the things I don't like about Halloween 2 I'm not a fan of the brother and sister um, timeline as a kid didn't really mind it I didn't really see a problem with it but now as an adult I'm not a fan of the brother and sister timeline I think it took away the mystery of Michael you know I'll you know how you know how I I think it took away the mystery of Michael because you knew his motive, you knew what he's, you know, his plan was, you knew what his goal was. Now, I was not a fan of that. Um, I also was not a fan of um, the guy who played Michael. Was not a fan of him, uh, um, Dick Warlock. Uh, right? Was not a fan of him. He was too he was too robotic for me. He was too robotic for me. I, I don't know why he was too robotic for Nick. Even though this is the original mask. Don't really like it. I know I'm, uh, I'm sounding like a negative Nancy, but I'm not. It's just how I feel about Halloween 2. You know, the mask, even though it's the original mask, don't care for the mask. I don't think this is the best Michael actor. Um, some positives. I like the score. I like Dr. Loomis in this. Um, I like Dr. Loomis in this. I like the score. There's some really cool, iconic scenes and moments in this. Uh, where he's walking and, and he's on fire, where he walks through the glass, where he puts that woman's head in the hot tub. You know, there's so many cool and iconic moments. I love that it's set on the same night, which not a lot of horror movies do. And I think more should start doing it. Um, yeah, those are some positive and negatives about Halloween 2. Not a fan of the brother and sister timeline. I'm not a fan of that at all. You know, that's one reason why I love Halloween 2018 so much. It's because they took away the brother and sister timeline. We're actually moving the franchise forward. Like, we're actually doing something different and new here. You know what I mean? Because I just feel like the original Halloween 2 script, like, I know supposedly John Carpenter was drunk or something. I don't know. But, man, like, didn't somebody tell you that, like, that was stupid? Like, like didn't someone, like, read the script and just, like, just, you know, just, like, throw it at you and just tell you that that was stupid? Like... Because John, like, set Michael up as this character that has no motive, no goal, you know. And then in Halloween 2, it's just, oh, oh, that's Michael's sister. Oh. Like, to me, he, he doesn't, and I, I don't know. That's just how I, I've always felt about Halloween 2. It's a classic. It deserves to be called a classic. But again, I don't sit here and praise the thing. Because I know there's a lot of flaws in Halloween too. This may get dislikes. I mean, you know, it really is what it is, you know. Um, but yeah, I love Halloween too. You know, that sounds very, you know, you know, even though it sounds like I'm going back on my word, it's not. I just, you, you know, you, you can love a movie and acknowledge its flaws. I don't think a lot of people, you know, realize that or they're afraid to say that you can enjoy a movie and I like a movie but it's knowledge the flaws there's nothing wrong with that I love Halloween too I think, I think it's a classic it deserves that spot but there's so many flaws things that's wrong with this movie you have Lori in this movie but she's barely used or even barely seen you know um again the brother and sister timeline like what like really like you making the brother and sister really but yeah Halloween 2 final thoughts it's a decent Halloween movie. I don't put it up in my top two, top three, top fours, top five, top six, easily for me. Um, but yeah, let me know how you feel about Halloween 2 in the comments below. Very curious to know. Are you a fan of the brother and sister angle? 
if you are, why are you a fan of the brother and sister um, timeline, I guess you could say. Why are you a fan of that? I'm not a fan of it because I think it, it takes away the mystery of Michael, gives him a motive, and I'm glad we finally moved away from that. And I wish Rob Zombie's Halloween would have done that. I feel like Rob Zombie, you know, definitely he should have been the one that, you know, you know, would have taken away the brother and sister angle. Because I, I feel like that gives Michael too much of a motive and too much of a goal. Because you know what he's doing. Like, if you're not part of his family or, you know, because, like, if you're, like, in that original time, like, in that original timeline, if you wasn't in his way, if you wasn't, in, you know, you know, if you wasn't in his family, um, if you wasn't in his way, you were safe. You know what I mean? But if you was in his way or if he was a family member, you was dead on the spot on sight. You know? So... It is what it is. But Halloween 2 rating, I say an 8 out of 8. You know, you probably would have thought I would have gave it a 6. Nah, it's an 8 out of 8. Halloween 2, love it. But not afraid to acknowledge the flaws in it. Catch you guys in the next video.